So the Kent County Sheriff's Department dispatch received several 911 calls at about 7.20 this evening regarding a shooting that was happening in the parking lot area of East Kentwood High School. Um, the, the school had a graduation ceremony happening in the stadium and as people were exiting the stadium, um, it appears that two white sedans were involved in a gun exchange between each other and um, two individuals were struck by bullets in this exchange. Uh, one of them is a 16 year old male from Texas and the other is a 40 year old female from Grand Rapids. Both of them are in stable condition. The 16 year old um, received a, 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 a wrist wound. The female received an abdomen wound and a wrist wound, so two shots. Um, they're both being treated at local hospitals. Beyond that, the uh, suspects left the area um, at a high rate of speed, exited the area. We are looking for them right now. We're also looking for any leads that anybody might have about their identification. Um, we're asking if anybody was on scene at the high school and they happen to have video that would be helpful for our investigation. You can get that to us by contacting the sheriff's office or a silent observer. Um, and we just wanna um, say that the Kentwood Public School is working very closely with us to help us establish what happened this evening and run down any leads and get this brought to resolution. This is a difficult thing for a school district to go through, a community to go through. So um, we're working very hard to make sure that we're bringing it to closure as soon as possible and ensuring that this community remains as safe as possible. Uh, but we do have two outstanding suspects at this point. Shooting following a graduation, what goes through your mind when you first got that call? You're certainly you're nervous for the safety of the community and the people who happen to be on the scene of the graduation. So um, stabilizing that scene and making sure that we get it as safe as possible as soon as possible and then bring that incident to closure by investigating it very thoroughly and making sure we know what happened and hopefully why. Is there a motive here yet? We don't have any of that information yet. Uh, what is the connection between the two people who were injured? We have no known connection between those two individuals or those two individuals to any of the possible suspects. So it's possible they just happen to be um, bystanders in the event. Sheriff, we had been told that uh, witnesses have told us that 10 shots were fired. Is that true? I don't have an exact number of shots. Um, I would say multiple shots, a large number of shots were fired at this scene, but I don't have an exact number. That's one of the things that we're um, still very painstakingly trying to figure out what types of we weapons were involved, how many weapons were involved. We have eyewitness accounts, but obviously it's important to know for sure. Um, sorry, go ahead. I know you said uh, the, the victims are being treated at a local hospital, Metro Spectrum. Uh, I, I can't answer that question, I'm okay. sorry. Sheriff, uh, a student had also said that uh, the victim was a mother of a student. Are you able to confirm that? I don't have that information. I'm sorry. Suspects still on the loose. Um, is it two suspects? Uh, we have multiple suspects that got into the vehicle. We don't know their connection to the actual shooting. We know we had at least two shooters. Is this uh, community safe tonight? I, I want the community to be alert to these potential suspects tonight. We have no reason to believe they're coming back into the area or that they have a specific target back in this area. This scene is secure now, um, but of course, until we bring this case to resolution, I can't be certain on what their intent is. But so just to be clear, there is no public threat at this point. We do not believe there's an ongoing public threat at this moment. What do you say to families and, and students and you know people who are a part of this community? I mean. Uh, a celebration like this is something that brings family together, makes us feel close as a community with pride of our young people and what they're accomplishing. This is very difficult to have happen in this community at this moment of celebration. So I say that we're working to bring it to resolution. I also say uh, communities keep communities safe. So we need to make sure we all work together right. to bring it to resolution, to get all the information we can about this case and so that we can do it quickly and thoroughly and effectively. Sheriff, this community has had a rash of violence recently. We had two homicides last weekend, three homicides this month and a number of shootings. For a community struggling with this uh, surge in violence recently, uh, what would your message be? I'm certainly concerned about the surge in violence. And again, I'll go back to communities keep communities safe. We have to work together to bring these cases to resolution. We have to know that it's up to each person in this community to keep each other safe. We had also heard that uh, law enforcement officials were on scene of that graduation. Were they deputies with Kent County Sheriff's Office? I don't have that information. Just to double check, so, so two suspects, are 
do you have age ranges or any other I have information? We, we are literally reviewing the video right now tips that we um, are starting to get into silent observers so I don't have any of that information and the images that I see it's not clear who the identification is so I, I really can't I don't have great subs uh, I don't have great uh, descriptions of the suspects right now. Are you guys planning to release any of that video or images? At any uh, I don't know. Last question for you. When can we expect another update? I think we're probably going to be a little while before we get anything more extensive. So uh, we will keep you posted. We'll send out information to you when we will update. But I don't have any more information forthcoming in the immediate unless there's a change in the circumstance. Just were these, were these uh, people who we are still trying to get good interviews with those individuals because obviously they were in need of medical care. So they were evacuated to the hospitals. We have officers there um, talking to family and uh, at one point will be the, the victims themselves, but I don't have that information right now. Is there any intel that this could have happened before? Uh, I have no knowledge of any intel ahead of time. We've had a very cooperative group of people um, that we've worked with so far, and I expect that to continue. We've, um, we're really working together as a team to get this case resolved. When I, when I was speaking with the 18-year-old student earlier, I mean, she had heard from her sister who was there at the time of the graduation. I mean, what would your message be to members of this community and, you know, of the school that, you know, we're running, you know, we heard of some videos online of people running and screaming. What would your message be to people struggling with what's happened tonight? You know, this is a very traumatic thing to go through, and I would say be empathetic to um, other members in the community and understand that going through the, something like this is something that will be difficult for them to shed, um, talk through it, work with. If, if you feel the need for a mental health professional, there are mental health professionals to work with. And um, I think we need to keep in mind that when we have an event like this happen, our whole community suffers. It's not just the individual who happened to be on that spot at that time who witnessed it. It's everybody who hears about it. Everybody who then believes their community um, is less safe tonight than it was last night. So that's why it's an entire community's need to step forward, work together, and make sure these cases, this case and all of these cases, get brought to resolution. Now, when it comes to the investigation at the school, I can't answer exactly how long it'll take, but it'll take as long as it does. And we'll be here collecting evidence until there's no more evidence to be collected. Are you still questioning people there? Uh, we're working to collect scene evidence. There are a number of people I can't tell you what the state of that investigation is right now. Have you heard whether this will impact school tomorrow? Uh, I think that's something they're considering. I can't answer that question right now. That would be a more appropriate question for the school district, and I think um, they've already made a statement. I'm certain that they'll probably release something subsequent to this. Just to clarify, right? all, all the shots came from one vehicle. Is that what you're uh, understanding? That's or? not actually, I don't know that for sure. I, I believe there are subjects from multiple um, direction shooting at each other so I don't think it actually is one vehicle. We have two um, white sedans that appear to be involved in some way shape or form but we are still reviewing the video but we don't believe it was all from one vehicle. Can you say sedan, is it like a van, SUV or do you know what? It would be like a passenger car, a four-door passenger car. I don't know if they were four-door or two-door. So you think there were multiple weapons involved? There are multiple weapons involved. Do you know what type of weapons were? I don't have that information. We're still evaluating that. Were they targeting specifically? We have no idea. Sheriff, last question. I mean, do you know if this was captured on video at this time? So there are portions of it that um, we can see from the, the school video, but um, how detailed it is and how exact it is, I can't answer those questions. That's part of what we're reviewing right now. Do you know if they this way or that way I can't answer those highway. questions I, I don't know that those answers so were the victims just to get it straight in my mind were they in in one of those sedans or no not? No, no they were were they outside or were they in a vehicle uh yeah. no they were in the parking lot area so okay they appear just to be innocent victims. my suspicion is that they are um just, just by comp completely bystanders that happen to be here at the time of this gun exchange I, I think last question for me you know Obviously, it is graduation season. People are out there are celebrating. Should districts be doing anything, especially given the uptick of gun violence in Kent County? 
I, I think that is a individual school district question. I think that's something certainly they evaluate every year depending on, um, and, and there's something that are like very basic like traffic related issues or congestion or things like that that they often will consider when they're deciding to get um, officers there on standby for their graduation. Whether this will factor into it I think is an independent community question. Sheriff, does it appear that the cars were on the road or somewhere in the school property? I, I can answer that question. And one more question for me. I had spoken with Chief Winstrom earlier, and he said, you know, there have been more drive-by shooting incidents recently. They've seen young people stealing cars and then taking them out and taking part in drive-by shootings. I mean, you, have you seen more drive-by shootings recently with the Kent County Sheriff's Office? Because it seems that, you know, this was another type of incident. So you know that area law enforcement works very close together and um, our our jurisdictions butt up to each other. So there certainly has been an uptick as you look at the greater Kent County area specific to the Kent County Sheriff's Office. We have not had cases of drive-by shootings in our jurisdiction, but we have worked with agencies who are seeing them in as a Kent County community and even a greater um, metropolitan area, there have been a number of incidents that have happened and it, it does it is significant and it is something that as a community we need to be aware of we need to work together resolve and we need to get these cases resolved if uh, any of the districts reach out to you for security would you provide it uh, we generally do if it's within our jurisdiction and certainly other law enforcement agencies do um, if it's within their jurisdiction and it's within our means we have obviously X number of officers to provide safety and security for the entire community you know if the victims were mother and child? Or no, no, they're no. not. Okay. They're not related to each other. Oh, they're not? Okay. No. Right. But no. they were attending the event? Or I, attending I, that's them? again, that's what okay. we're trying to work on right now. This is really early in the investigation for us. So we're trying to make sure we talk to you and let you know as soon as possible. But there is a lot more that we don't know yet that I can't confirm yet. And again, they're going to be okay because we've read comments of someone who has passed away. But these two people are going to be okay. So the two that I know about are both in stable condition. Um, I would say the 40-year-old female had what I would consider serious wounds from this. The 16-year-old uh, had a wrist injury, still serious. A wrist injury was serious, but um, both appear to be stable. That's the knowledge we have right now. Not to say that there's not um, more information that we haven't been updated on yet or that I haven't been updated on yet while I'm here with you guys. So both gunshot wounds though. Yes, right? correct. Boy or girl for the sixteen year old? Uh male. Yeah. Male. Okay. Yep. Right. And then the forty year old female. female. Yep. One was from Texas, you said? Yeah, the sixteen year old was from Texas here visiting family. And the forty year old female was from Grand Rapids. I think that's all the information we have, right, yeah. Eric? Yep. And Anything I I'm missing? I just I was I had to step away for the first part, but it was uh, as the superintendent said and I think it was in there. It was a Crossroads Alternative High School graduation that was taking place at the stadium. Mm -hmm. um, that was the event taking place. Yeah. Anything else you would like to I, I have nothing more at this time. We'll get back with you as soon as we do have additional information. And again, if anybody uh, has information related to this incident or perhaps video that might be helpful to our investigators, I ask you to call um, either the Sheriff's Department directly or through Cyclone Observer, but we need the information. Okay to say if they're students or oh, yeah okay to say if they're students because that's something that students often would do thank you so we've been listening to this news conference from the kent county sheriff tonight uh, confirming that there are two victims in this shooting one a 16 year old uh, male from texas who was here uh, visiting family for this graduation that was happening tonight and the other a 40 year old woman from grand rapids as you heard the sheriff talk about the injuries to the 40 year old are more serious uh, injuries to the abdomen and the wrist both are in stable condition being treated at local hospitals at this time and currently authorities are looking for the suspects who took off in a car uh, the sheriff said multiple suspects got in the vehicle, not saying how many suspects there are at this time, but she said there are at least two shooters involved, uh, two white sedans involved in this place. And she also said, as the investigation goes, they can see portions of the shooting recorded on the school video, which will be helpful for investigators in the day ahead. But the search continues there for those uh, multiple suspects involved in this case and the victims, those two of them not related to one another. So definitely a... Uh, a very tough situation here tonight at East Kenwood High School, right in the middle of a graduation. Um, 
in the midst of all this uh, gun violence happening recently. We will continue to give you all the information, um, News 8 at 10 and 11, uh, but that's the latest we know right now from Kent County Sheriff Michelle LaJoy Young.